how to make your home look expensive. That is one of the tricks designers use and I've got some really good tips and tricks for you today. And since so many of you ask, today I am wearing this gorgeous necklace from Dorsey. This is, by the way, white sapphire and it's a man-made material but it just glistens everybody thinks these are diamonds and i absolutely love it i haven't taken it off and i'm obsessed with it and i am wearing an outfit from zara this was on sale so guys i don't know if it's going to be available it was in their big big sale i'll try and link it if it is and my shoes are from a few seasons ago but they are jimmy choo Creating a room that is worthy of a double take or creating luxury in your home is something that can be achieved very easily if you do it with intention and taste. And I'm gonna show you today exactly what we do as interior designers so that you can do it too. So we're gonna get right into it. Look at this bar that I created for a client of mine. This house is phenomenal. And what's really great about this bar is first and foremost, my bar stools are in here. Thank you so much. These are my gorgeous bar stools that I love. I'm very proud of them. And everything's gonna be linked below in the description section in case you guys want a deeper dive into the products that we're gonna talk about today. But what I wanted to highlight today in this particular bar niche corner is the fact that we've got these sporadic mirrors on the wall. And you can do this easily just by yourself, I don't know, five, six mirrors of different sizes and do them artfully, place them in a way that is sporadic without overthinking it and don't create a pattern. And this is a way to really bring in luxury into your home. Next way to make your home look extremely expensive and luxurious is to create a lime wash paint wall. Previously, we used to do this and it was called limestone wash or we used to do it with plaster and those are very expensive techniques but today you've got paints that can mimic this this is very expensive looking and if done right it can look gorgeous in your room note how it makes the furniture pop and creating a little niche is also part of this luxury trend that we're seeing by creating in the nook of a room an area that has a beautiful focal point and an architectural piece such as this chair with the very interesting side table that in and itself looks extremely luxurious and this is something that you can absolutely do there are a lot of lookalikes today on the market with these um, bulbous shaped furniture and side tables and lamps and paired with this lime wash paint uh, you can certainly achieve this. I have had so many great interactions with you guys. I had a meeting last week where one of you was so sweet. They were so excited to get on the Zoom that she started to cry. Then I started to cry and we didn't know why we were crying. So if you guys wanna book a Zoom with me, I am loving meeting every single one of you. And I would just love to give my advice and get to know one of you. So um, if you are interested in that, there is a Zoom link in the description section below and you can book a meeting with me for however long you like. You could even start it at 20 minutes. Another great way to elevate a room is to add paneling on the walls. You can do this easily. I've talked about this. We do this time and time again and it transforms the space. You can even do it in an apartment that you guys are renting. Why? Because I believe you can definitely get an okay from the landlord and it's very inexpensive to do if you buy the molding from Home Depot, your local store, apply it and give it a nice coat of paint. And notice how there's a gooby chair in here. There are a lot of lookalike gooby chairs that can really elevate the space. Again, it's about bringing moments into a space in a corner that you can do really with very little effort and create absolute luxury. This moment is a very good one. It is a little bit unexpected and can be achieved in your home. If you've got a window that essentially is just 
there, it would be nice to float a desk in front of it and create this sort of luxurious look. All you really have to do is get a piece of wood and mount it into the wall. I mean, this is not very difficult to do, and then you can bring in a beautiful desk chair, an architectural chair. This is Athena Calderon's home, and she actually sells this chair. So I'm gonna link this chair below in the description section so that you guys can recreate this for very little, because all you really have to do is buy the chair, which is architectural in itself. So I don't know if you guys have noticed there's a theme going on in terms of how to make your home look luxurious, and it's bringing in interesting pieces, investing in one, or two really good pieces that are, in fact, not as expensive as you would think because stores like Crate and Barrel CB2 are really stepping up their game. They're bringing in amazing interior designers who are designing elevated items that are really able to take your home to that next luxurious level. The next example is from a project by yours truly. This was a love project of mine. This was a house that we did and then sold and what I wanted to point out is this was an old, decrepit, abandoned home. And how do we make it look luxurious? Well, we brought in one or two interesting pieces. The light is unfortunately discontinued, but a cone light like this in an entryway with a table that has character, architectural value, is really going to make your space look very expensive. And you guys can do this. This is not a huge home. It doesn't have a gigantor foyer. We created the foyer by pushing the door out. I'm not suggesting you need to do that, but if you have a little space, bringing in an element, a light fixture that is geometric and floating it at the right height, because it's very important not to go too high so that you can actually see it when you walk in, really creates that luxurious moment and something that you can implement. Another great way to make your home more luxurious is another project of mine. It's actually the same home that we looked at earlier with the cone light. This is a bathroom that uh, has that luxurious feel because of the fact that we have brought in an oversized piece of photography. Bathrooms tend to be forgotten rooms, especially when they're your own bathroom. But there is no reason why your room, your powder room, your bathroom shouldn't look amazing. And so one great way to tackle this is to bring in oversized black and white art and putting it, if you have a wall that's big enough, over a tub or even on an empty wall. So this is a great way to do it. Also bringing in lighting. Many of us live in apartments and we can't bring in lighting, but with the same notion that you can ask your landlord to upgrade with the panels, there's definitely something to be said about upgrading with sconces. And the work to put in a sconce is not as crazy as people think. Just call your task rabbit, get it done. It's going to elevate your space by bringing in sconces into a bathroom, and it's just gonna make it absolutely luxurious. Here's a project that we finished in Palos Verdes. Palos Verdes is an area in Los Angeles that has breathtaking views of the ocean. And this powder room was a very expensive proposition. My client said, by the way, I think all my guests will be dining, hanging out, and sitting in this powder room because of what it cost. But that's not why I'm bringing it up. This is by far luxury of luxuries. Why? Well, we have Gracie wallpaper, which is hand-painted chinoiserie, which is thousands. We've got apparatus sconces, which are thousands. But can you recreate this at a fraction of the cost? Absolutely. This is how you do it. Most powder rooms have a mirror that are, that's flat, as did this powder room before the transformation. We kept the mirror in the powder room. We thought, why take it off? You know, it's, it's already there and it actually looks great. So instead of, you know, removing that old mirror, why not attach a geometric mirror onto the existing mirror. And this is something that we're doing quite a bit of in interior design. Me and a lot of other designers are doing, and I really like it. It's just a quick way to transform your powder room without spending a lot of money. So get an um, asymmetrical mirror, stick it on your current mirror, and bring in wallpaper. Wallpaper can be very inexpensive, and it could have that chinoiserie vibe. So there is no reason why you can't have what is this you know, mega gorgeous, luxurious bathroom in your own home and make it look absolutely fabulous. Of all these ideas, is there one that you are actually thinking about doing and which one is that? I need to know. I love you guys. Thank you for being here and I can't wait to see you next week on The Red Elevator.